when somebody comes to the shelter, they get referred from all different areas. It might be from a community person, it might be from the police, it might be from a doctor, it could be even from the Manor Community Centre that I used to be involved in. And these people come to us and they're assessed and we work out what, they, what we need to help them with. So domestic violence um, affects um, people in every community. Um, certainly we know um, in New South Wales um, we have a range of women um, and children accessing refuges and, and crisis support services. We have um, a society that often tends to blame women um, for the violence that they experience. Um, it's really common for us to think, why doesn't she leave? Why doesn't she leave the violent situation? Um, you know, why doesn't she just move, pick up her kids and, um, and go and go and um, live in a refuge or um, find somewhere else to live? It's not always that easy. to ministers and generally just try and lead a group of very, very good board members that work with me. We're all volunteers. We are not funded by the government, so although we're a registered charity, we rely heavily on, on donations. We have two big fundraisers a year, but we do small fundraisers during the year. A lot of organisations have their own fundraising events and they raise money often to buy products for the women. And there are certain charities that donate our cleaning products, all sorts of practical things that help us to run our shelters because they're very expensive to run. very lucky to work closely with other organisations. The local doctors help us to look after the women. We've got people offering to test their eyes for nothing. We've got uh, chemists that are very generous with the scripts. So we've got a whole lot of community people in Manly particularly that are just totally behind us. Um, I think the key message has to be let's talk about this. You know, we've had um, two or three years where we've had, you know, really huge media um, interest in this issue, um, and I think it's so important that we keep the message going. 